Hello guys this is your program on Shake today I'm going to show you how to make a simple screen saver in C sharp it's very quick um, I'll make sure that every video is five minutes so if it's not done then we go on to the next I'll make another video this makes it uh, easier to upload so today you're gonna make something similar to this uh, this image moves every two seconds and then when it's click it shows a different image and so on we could have made it switching every time it moves but this was my original design and this is how I intended it I'm going to be using Microsoft Visual Studio Visual uh, C, C Sharp 2008 Express Edition I'm pretty sure if you use any other version recent you'll be able to do just what I'm doing the reason why I stress that is because uh, there are certain things that you have to know how to how to do in your own uh, development environment. So let's go and create uh, image. Let me close this. So let's go and create uh, a new project. We we'll call this project image trial, or we can call it screen saver. Just uh, screen saver one. So, so the first thing you want to do, you want to enlarge this a little bit bigger. We can; it could be any size you choose. So, on. so, but again, today I'm just gonna do just a little bit. So the next video we will expand it. So, so go ahead and click in the middle of the form. After that, you should come to the properties. I don't know whether you have to click something, but uh, usually it's there. Properties. Then uh, look. Now goes to the uh, the data members. Uh, look for uh, background image. Okay. Once you see it, click it. Uh, this is so. This is where you need to be. And then once you see this, you can click import. We're gonna import uh, five pictures. You can just uh, you can import many pictures. You don't have to import one by one. So we import five pictures and we bring it up. Uh, we bring it up. So if you import it correctly, you should see in the solution uh, uh, place you will see resources. You will see all the pictures we uploaded: autumn leaves, creek, desert landscape, dark forest, dark JPEG, and so on. You can upload any pictures you have, but this is what I'm using. So it's best that you use the same name. The picture type can be different, but it's best that you use the same name because if you use different names underneath it, uh, if you want to copy this exact thing I'm doing, then it might not work. But otherwise, this should work. I will let you know about where, if I remember it, uh, where you have to be careful. The next thing we want to do <coughs> is we want to bring in. Um, a timer we want to bring in a timer right uh, so you just click on the timer and drag it and drop it in the form if you drag and drop it in the form you, you will see yes you will see it uh, it's right here uh, right here this is the timer so we are interested in the timer so we click on the timer and we go into the events going to click on events uh, make an event for click so it creates a click function here so now we want to create we want to also click on the form and make sure we go on the event load want to make sure that and we want to also create also when the user click on it we want to make sure that we change the picture so we have to create an event called click so that click on the events and it double click on it and immediately creates it so when you go to your form one cs right here you should see all these three functions right here you should see form click form load timer click so if you want to just if you want to compile and see what it does now all it does just shows a picture this is good enough it just shows one picture we can make this better how so we can make the image uh, to stretch uh, we can make the image stretch so that the whole picture is shown 
so that's what we want so we say stretch so the whole picture is shown before it just shows this part of the tree so when you do stretch it shows the whole image no matter how big it is or how small it is it's going to stretch it stretch it to make it fit um all right we did that also the next thing we want to do also again this, this is very simple and easy you can just look up in the form and see what you want to change and so on so uh what i'm going to change here uh, i'm going to say because the form right i can show you right now the way it is 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 that you can stretch it and what i want is that the user cannot stretch it so what i will do here i come here form border seal sizable i say uh fix it uh fix it dialog i think <clears throat> right so and the next thing that i want to do i want to make this uh maximum box say no so the user is not going to be able to stretch it minimize box say false and then the maximum size the maximum size we're going to set it here we have to make also the maximum size so whatever the user does we do it in the form one that load so maximum go maximum size right is equal to this that size so that means whatever the user does is not going to increase the see i cannot increase it and there's no increase there's no maximum box or minimum box when i go under here i cannot do anything so we did we did something today so until next time i will show you more uh, with the timer and the click and so on and how to bring uh how to get the pictures here we're going to create a variable that houses all these pictures here until next time see you then